is up by bits and bytes. This is Admin Anthros back with another episode of Firewatch. Now, uh, our last episode, I believe, yeah, yeah, our window got smashed through and our uh, watchtower got torn apart by those naughty, naughty women back at the lake. So, here we go to fix my darn window. Because this gets cold at night, thank you. I think I finally got the volume settings figured out, so happiness. I'm so happy at the long evening. Oh, look, boards. I'll take one. Get a couple more. Where from? Perhaps here? No? Alright, fine. Okay. Where? Oh, here's one. Okay. There's one. Alrighty, got our boards. Let's go fix the stupid window, shall we? Hey. Who knows? Is it the little breezy in here, or is that just me? <laughs> okay, uh, board up, please. Bang bang. And that was e it was that easy shit. I be doing this like, all the time. Let me tell you, it's not that easy. And <laughs> you got them perfect too, because I'm just that awesome. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> wow, day nine? Jeez. Okay. Cool. That wasn't so hard. Sandwich! I want a sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Great. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should uh. I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh, uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Just don't Enjoy say the sunset. Anything. Beautiful sunset. Why wow, are we just skipping days here? <laughs> the time warp cafe, you freak. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry if what I say doesn't make sense, guys. My Henry, I'm loaded on Henry, wake up. medication first. Cold, <laughs> and it screws with my brain a lot. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Must I? I'm away. Hey, you big dumb idiot. Um, Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? 
yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. I'm gonna assume that was a hallucination, but touching at the same time. Because you don't know what to do here. Okay. It's advancing days here, guys. It's been like a month already. Jeez. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're hmm. out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, yes. when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, uh... though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Jeez. That's kind of sad. Alright, north. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Oh. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Uh, I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's Ooh. incredible. Carrie, oh, yeah. sexy as hell. He was a driller okay. down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and... Some reason. I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. Aww. We both fucked up. That's sad. Humans are infallible creatures. So true, so true. <sighs> Relationship probs, guys. Everybody has them. Am I getting closer? I think I'm getting closer. Yeah? Yeah, okay, this way. I want my jerky! Is it teriyaki jerky? I love that stuff so much. I don't know what I like better. The teriyaki jerky or the pepper jerky? I like both. Don't know which one's my favorite, though. La di da, where is my. Oh, this way? Uh, okay, oh yeah. Oh, I think I see it. I'm running towards it. Give me jerky! Okay. Hello. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Everything in the 
Okay, all the boxes are uh, one, two, three, four. Right? Yep. Um, I'll look out. Ooh, I think this is mine, right? Yeah, I think that's mine. I'm two forks, right? Am I? Yeah, I'm two forks. Sorry. How did I forget that? Like halfway through the game. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> it's so tempting to pick the other boxes. I know, right? Day sixty-four. Jeez. Okay. This is progressing a lot quicker than I thought. Oh. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Huh. <laughs> so, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. Close enough. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's this? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You Sweet. Like there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? I can agree with that. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but <sighs> I want you to know, well, Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Hmm. Um. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Ah! I don't know. I don't know. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... Um, I don't. What? I don't. What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Well then. This is, uh, this is one of those... Yeah, it just tears my heart like two... You're going fishing without a license? Yes. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well... I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and yeah. just let me know what you find? I'll try. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear? <laughs> problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. 
Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, can we get a replay of that, please? <laughs> okay. Oh, look. It's the old campfire that we stomped out. When the girls were here. <sighs> Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Right. See, the problem I have with this right now is, like, do we want to stand with Julia, even though she's basically got terminal Alzheimer's or do we want to go with Delilah? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you guys decide for me? I don't know. Let's go fish. Hello. Hi. Um. The heck. What the, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Freaky. Wait, hold on, something's out here. Uh, Henry, I'm worried. Why does this Why does this turn into a horror game? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Hi. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? What's this? Oh God, I don't know why. It's oh. <laughs> okay. What a great turn of events. Henry? Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. Wapiti, it's Wapiti. north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. I don't think so. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Well, okay, freaked I'm sorry. out. Yeah. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So. What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Uh, what the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Yeah. Hey, there there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah. really low. Okay. Hike safe. All right, well, it looks like that's all the time I have for this episode anyway, so it's a perfect call, and uh, <laughs> unfortunately, so... <sighs> I love my little clip hangers, don't you? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm, I really, I'm liking this kind of like love trying, anti triangle something rather thing between him and Delilah. And I'm not sure if I want to play that up or not, or 
maybe stay with Julia. I mean, I'll let you guys decide. Or I'll take it out. I don't know, either way. Thank you guys for watching. This is Admin Admirals, logging off. Thank you.